Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, before you buy video. So in this video we're going to be reviewing Brotherhood Recruitment Bundle. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so uh, before we take it off and I'll review all of the items that are included within this bundle. Uh, the price, the original price is $29.99 which I feel like is overpriced. I feel I don't feel like I know it's overpriced. And like I would be okay if it were to be like $20. But man, $30? That's, that's, that's not cool. Like for example, if we take the Raiders bundle, right? $19.99. We take the settlers bundle, nineteen ninety nine. Why the hell is this thing twenty nine ninety nine? It's exactly the same as just another. S it's like the entire like price is like fifty percent of a game value, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, like sixty dollars, and this is thirty. It's it's crazy, but. It has a good building <laughs> and I'm pretty satisfied so uh, and I decided to buy it so I can review it so you can make a decision whether you want to spend the $30 in full or wait until it goes with the discount anyway let's go ahead and start off with the Brotherhood of Steel scouting tower that's the big building over there that you can see on the screen alright so I had to scrap my camp again <laughs> fully uh, to review I was Whatever, in whatever case, I wasn't happy with my new cam that I built. But anyway, uh, this scouting tower is amazing. Uh, it's huge, and I freaking love it. And it goes with a separate door, and you can build three of them. That's the limit. But uh, the building does take up a good amount, a good chunk of your budget. So if you plan to build other buildings, uh, you might recons. I don't know. But well, look, look. Just take a look at the budget uh, bar on the top right corner. As soon as I build it, I learn how how much budget it will take. Boom. That's a lot of budget. <laughs> but luckily for us, we got shelters now. Now we can make something outside as of uh, an intro, and then build something else. Like I was thinking of building this big vault in, but I'm gonna look for another location. But whatever the case is, this is the building and there is a door included so if you go to the doors for example um, here we go and scroll the way down here you'll get the door boom you don't need to power up there is a cool animation when you open the door interact look at it that's pretty cool you gotta admit so then you walk in as you can see there is a lot of space in here which is really nice so you can have like uh, first floor like locked up with vending machines for example and you go up you got another floor here you can have like your workbenches and stuff and then you go up and you have your actual roof so it is a a big building and that is actually really nice over here you could put some like I don't know turrets or something defensive to give it a good look and uh, where are my defensive stuff? There we go. So like turrets, like missile launchers. By the way, what about the artillery? Will it fit in here? Cause that would look actually really nice. Nah, it won't. But you can build it here. <laughs> On the top, boom, bam, bam, bam. Fireworks. So that's actually pretty cool. So the tower itself, it's huge. Here, let me kind of like. Oh man, I don't, I don't even think I'll be able to show it to you this way. But look at it, from the side. Yeah, I can't. All right, let me just walk then. So I'm gonna show you from the start, from the front, right? That's how big it is. You can close, shut the door. Boom. Finally, I like it, and it's an actually huge building. This is how it looks from the side, from the back, 
and from the other side. So it is a huge building, and I like it. Although I'm gonna change my camp location again. It doesn't need powering, so that's cool. Yes, sir. I actually like that a lot. And like for example, just an idea. You can put a shelter door right in here. And bam. That leads you to some other <laughs> space or something. But it's cool, you gotta admit. Alright, uh, what else do we have on the menu? Uh, we've got the... Oh, let's go with the power armor skin. Alright, so now with power armors, what you should know is the skin ap applies to pretty much, I believe, all power armors, and it looks different for each and every one. So have that in mind. All I have are the following Ultra Side XO1, Excavator T45, I believe, uh, and others. So those who play with power armors will definitely will be able to recognize. So this is the Excavator power armor. That's how it looks like. So it's different, as you can see. It kind of adapts to the power armor sort of style. And that's how this one looks like. This is the... Uh, I don't know what this one is. Ultraside, I think. No, Ultraside is this guy right here. And this is X01, by the way. Yeah, X01. Reclaim helmet. X01. Ultraside. T51B. T45. And excavator. That's how they look from the back. Alright. I uh, would love to show you how it looks with the other power armors, but unfortunately, I do not have them. So, I hope this is more than enough. But let me get inside one of them and show you how it's going to look like, like from the first person view. Yeah, it's all good. It does not. Like, you know, sometimes when you have power armors, it kind of sticks out. But this is just a regular skin, as you can see. So, it shouldn't stick out and look like. So, it's all good. Alright, so that's pretty much it with the power armors. Let's go and take a look at something else. If I'll be able to get the hell out of here. How do you exit? Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so the next item is a defensive item, a camp building item, and it's called Brotherhood of Steel Barricade. So, if you open your build menu, you should find it at Steel Barricade. Apologies. Uh, well, Barricade. No, I got it right. So, you can find it in the defense uh, building menu with all your other defensive stuff. What the hell is this? Lol. Okay. So yeah, that's how it looks like. Uh, let me build a few so you can take a look at how much budget it takes. Uh oh, doesn't take a lot of budget. See that? So that's actually pretty cool. Scrap. All right, next item we're gonna take a look at will be the barracks locker. Let's go with that one. Man, to be honest, this one was a pain to find. Uh, it's actually a stash box. <laughs> so I thought it was like locker locker, but the way you find it is you find your default stash box and then just scroll through all the skins that you already own and you lock it. Uh, your stash box, the locker, because I was looking man everywhere, even where we have those other, like, lockers, lockers, you know, like the default buildings, man, where the hell are they? And I was not able to locate this, and only then, man, maybe it's a st stupid stash box? <laughs> well, not stupid, but it's actually pretty cool, good looking, like, pro looking. See that? It's actually nice. I like it. There we go. It's 
good item. Very much differs from all the previous stash boxes, skins, and stuff like that that we got. So you can make, you can say it's kind of something exclusive. I like it. All right, what we got next? Next, let's review the field pack. That's the backpack. All right, so the backpack. Uh, you must already own a backpack, and uh, you will need the armor workbench. You click modify. Uh, you find your backpack. You go to your skin section, and there you go. That's what we're looking at. So that is actually pretty cool too. Looking actually really nice. Let me just go check it out. Ooh, nice. I like it. Let's see if we can bright it up a little bit. There we go. Sorry, it's night time, so I can't really. Oh, well, actually, a good looking man. Look. It's not bulky. It's got this glowing thing, antenna. It, uh, actually, really nice. I like it. Oh look, we got some light over there. Let's go over there. See it in action, action. Man, I always pick the wrong time to redo my camp. <laughs> I couldn't fit in the tower, by the way, so that's why I had to redo it. And because some of the items have glitched into the walls, I couldn't scrap them, so I couldn't remove the entire building. So yeah. Stupid bugs, man. What? There we go. That's a good looking backpack. And the final item is... Uh... Alright, so the final item that we're looking at is the Brotherhood of Steel Salute at Victorium. So it's an emote. The way you can say hi. And it's actually deferring. Oh, you can't continue. So yeah, by the way, have in mind that in order to activate this uh, emote, first you'll need to navigate to your atomic shop. Then you'll need to navigate to your emotes. You'll need to find it. Uh, make sure it's ticked. Once it's ticked, you go to your emote wheel. You go to your where you're saying hello, expand and apply the one that you want to apply. So in our case, that's the, the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Alright Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. Only I see them, I read them, and I delete them. Have that in mind. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Solo from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, the link is down in the video description. Uh, but make sure to read our rules. If you get lost, we do. Ha I did create a tutorial video, which is also down in the video description on how to use our Discord because we are 800 members and over. Uh, so, uh, you gotta read the rules, click on a few things to agree to a few things, and only then you get access to the chat. <laughs> so, get it? And any other links that uh, you may find of use are also locked in there, such as link to my Twitch or Patreon if you want to show additional support. Uh, but this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video, so uh, you all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock it at, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the